Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video, we are going to solve another question that was asked in December 2023 exam, net exam part B. The question is, you have to find out the magnetic moment of ytterbium YB3+. So, we don't even have to remember the electronic configuration. Here they have given it has F13 electronic, outermost electronic configuration. So, the first thing that we must know is the formula for the magnetic moment mu. Okay, what is the formula for calculating the magnetic moment? The formula to calculate the magnetic moment is G into root of J into J plus 1. Okay, so what is G? G is called as a Landes factor or Lands factor. Okay, and J also we have to calculate. Okay, it is angular momentum quantum number. So, for that we must know the value of G. What is the formula for G? How do you uh, remember the formula for G? First you write 3 by 2. Then you write plus. And then you write this ratio. Now there are three things, right? You, you write it in the alphabetical order. L, J and S. So, you s okay, J comes first in alphabetical order, right? So, J I can write here. Okay, J, L and S. So, the first one J, you write in the denominator. 2 into J into J plus 1. Okay, you remember to write down the factor 2. Then J into J plus 1. This is plus 1. Then which comes in the alphabetical order? L. You write here. Okay, L into L plus 1. Then the most important part is here there is a negative sign. After L comes S. So, you write S into S plus 1. So, in this way you can remember the value of G. The only thing that you have to remember is here there is a plus sign. Here there is a factor of 2. Then you write J into J plus 1. Then L into L plus 1. Here there is negative sign. And then S into S plus 1 according to the alphabetical order from here to here and from here to here. So, this is one method that I use to remember this formula. You can remember in this way or whichever way you feel comfortable. You have to remember this formula. Okay. If you don't know this formula, you make mistake in plus or minus sign, then your answer would be incorrect. Okay, now the question is, we don't know these values. So, let us first calculate the value of L. Okay, so L, F, we know it has how many suborbitals? It has 7 suborbitals, right? P orbital has 5, 3, D orbital has 5, this has 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, first what we do? We singly fill all the orbitals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 then you start the pairing 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 so the magnetic quantum numbers these are plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 now how do you write down the L values calculate the L values L is equal to so, first you write down this, okay, 3 into how many electrons? 2 plus 2 into how many electrons? 2 plus 1 into 2 electrons plus 0 into 2 electrons then minus 1 into 2 electrons minus 2 into 2 electrons minus 3 into last there is only 1 electron. We are writing for F13, right? So, there are only 13 electrons. So, substitute 3 to the 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 okay minus 2 minus 4 minus 3 so we can cancel out some values 4 minus 4 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 6 minus 3 will be plus 3 so now we have got the value of L L is 3 okay now S also we can find out S is the total spin so there are how many unpaired electrons only one unpaired electron so, what will be the total spin? It will be half. So, we have got the value of uh, S. Now, we have, we have to calculate the value of J. Now, J, there are two cases. Okay, it can be mod of L minus S or it can be mod of L plus S. L minus S is when it is when the orbital is when the orbital is less than half filled less than half filled 
okay and l plus s when the orbital is more than half filled orbital is more than half filled okay so what is the meaning of this f we know it can have a total of 14 electrons so 14 means completely filled so half filled means f7 okay this is half filled now you tell me four, 13 is less than 7 or more than 7 obviously 13 is greater than 7 that is it is more than half filled so which formula we will use this one second one so j will be l plus s l is 3 s is half half i can write it as 0 0.5 so this will be 3.5 right so now we have all the values of l s and j now we can substitute and calculate the value of g okay so g will be 3 by 2 plus s is how much half half i can write it as 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 s into s plus 1 0 0.5 plus 1 will be 1.5 minus l is how much 3 into 3 plus 1 that will be 4 divided by 2 into j is how much 3.5 j plus 1 3.5 plus 1 will be 4.5 you solve this the g value comes out to be 1.1428 this i have round out, rounded off to 1.143 okay so we have the g value okay we have the if you see the formula for magnetic moment we have the g value we also have the j value substitute and get the answer okay magnetic moment is equal to g into root of j into j plus 1 you have to be very very careful the factor 2 is in the formula of the land s factor and not here okay here if by mistake if you add 2 okay this is a mistake that i had done so i'm telling you don't add the factor 2 here okay so if you add a factor 2 here your answer would be incorrect g is 1.143 so you have to be very careful j is 3.5 into 3.5 plus 1 will be 4.5 so solve this this comes out to be 4.54 Bohr magneton okay so what is the correct answer the correct answer will be option 1 okay so I hope you have understood the solution there are only two very important formulas that you have to remember one is the formula for magnetic moment and another is the formula for g or the land factor okay so these are the two very important formulas and then you must know how to calculate l s and j values okay i hope you have understood the solution thank you